What I feel like I differ is I try to connect brands to the artists, try to introduce them to brands, and try to introduce brands to the artists. So, for example, I may take somebody who has a love for Converse and keep them in Converse every time you see them. And we might, you know, we might flip it. So Converse starts to take notice that this person is doing something and they're generating sales. I need to attach myself to them. So, oh, you that's how we smart, do it. Kwame. <laughs> I guess I, I don't know some people that don't think brand first. Yes, you do. Bedroom uh -huh. candy. No, I think make your own brand. Yeah, no. that's, that's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. Because then at first people used to tell me because I talked about sex on candy coat and nice and different things like that. Well, you shouldn't do that because you're not going to be marketable and you know uh, um, product you know big products they're not going to work with you because you talk about sex. And I was just like, you know, I just got to a point where I was like, you know what? It's only about five black women that they use for all the major products. And, you know, so I might as well quit waiting around on them and just make my own product. Vito. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Uh, everybody always be mixing up Don Juan, Don Vito. Don Juan is general manager of Candy Coated Entertainment. Don Vito is producer. I guess yeah. superstar is yeah. super produced and extraordinaire. Yeah. <laughs> and it's easy to differ Don one between myself, Don one, Don one, and then I'm just really, really, really ridiculously good looking. So that's how you'll be able to distinguish the two. There you go. <laughs> hey, to answer your question, now that I think about it, you know, like one thing that uh, Victor mentioned earlier about one of the things that uh, that was learned from me from the candy factory was patience, but I was patience in a different kind of way. Mine was like, I like to just basically say, I don't get on sinking ships. So if I see somebody that's not hot or just I don't think that's manageable, or that, like if you don't got it right then, and I'm like, all right, man, well, hit me when you get it together, and then we'll holler. But with the candy factory, I just had to even just bear and grit and just try to just find something in that person, just something. Like I was just bearing and gritting a lot of times, you know, like all of them was terrible when I first heard. Well, Lauren wasn't. And then my expectations for Lizzie was a certain way, especially for the song. And then I saw the tape, I mean, the, the demo reel, and I was like, okay, she gonna be hot. And then I met her and she was not. The way the music has evolved is, uh, you know, back in the day when we came in, it was kind of like you had more hands-on experience with the artist, so you kind of got to talk to them for a minute, you know what I'm saying, and see what was in their head, and you kind of write a song accordingly. So the, yeah. the, the way the music is now, it's like, all these, it's like I call them email producers, like, you know what I'm saying, because it's like, you know what I'm saying, I mean, I got my shit for you, man. All right, well, email it to me, and then you never hear nothing to the record, and that's yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, but the thing about the Candy Factory that I really liked a lot was the fact that we sat there, Candy and I, we were, you know, like we do, which one talk about? And so Candy would kind of like look at the story, and she would read it, and we would just have beats playing and try to just kind of, you know, get into inside that artist's head. So each song that you hear is, written for that artist. So yeah. that's what made it, you know, special to me. Um, for me, I definitely love to put in um, that the person that I'm working with, I love to put their story in the song if I can. So if I have any time to sit and chit chat with them or get any information about them, I always put that in the song. So say for instance, episode one was Lauren's story. Her, um, she was in a long, long distance um, relationship. So that's why, um, that's where the whole concept of the song, You and Me came from. I don't know if you heard it, but it's, um, you and me, we should be together for eternity. It, um, it can last a distance across the seven seas because he was on one side of the country, she was on the other, you know, so. Um, that was the concept of that song. Um, who was she against? Oh, Darian. Now, he threw me off because he had told us in his um, interview for the show that, you know, he used to feel like he, um, you know, that he couldn't do it. He had low self-esteem, but he was like, but then at some point in his life, he turned it all around, and then all of a sudden, he was confident, and he even put on his arm, I'm the shit, because he thought he was the shit. But then, when he got in there with us, and, you know, I had wrote him a song called I'm a Winner. And basically, it's one of them motivated songs that's like, basically, I don't care what you got to say, I'm a winner, you know. And he then he just was acting like the loser. I think a lot of our contestants thought it was going to be much easier than it really was until they got here. What made yeah. them think that? 
no, I think, well, no, no, I, because I, I think they look at they always look at the finished product. So the finished product always looks easy because it's the finished product. So it's just like when you get here and you sit in front of us and we give you a song and you realize you have to go into the studio, you realize you have to get this choreography down. It's just like wow, this is this is not as easy as it looks. And we're just giving you one song and one performance. So imagine a whole album and having to do like a 15 minute or 30 minute set to open up for somebody and you breaking down over one song and one performance and they realize like it looks easy because people have gone through this process so I think they get in the studio and they just like oh I've been told that I sound good you know and I know they can throw the auto tunes on there but you still got to give them something to auto tune it. Who y'all talking about Muji? We talking about and, a couple. And of then it comes about out this thing y'all to say about movies. That's, really That's what it. pissed me off oh. to the highest of pissed Wait, What are you about to say? Yeah. Wait. Where did wait? Yeah, we gotta fight to this one. Wait, yeah. where are you going? Oh. We need to have a little yeah. meeting. No. You need to tell uh, tell message. Us first. No. <laughs> kind of, like, when we in the studio, like we like Candy said, we did multiple songs for this lady, right? But when we in the studio and we asked her to sing all these songs, she bragged about how good she could sing. And then I said, okay, we'll sing some. What you want me to sing? Sing the song that you know how to sing. What, what, what song did she sing? Alicia Keys. No, before that. What? Oh, she tried to sing that gospel, right? It wasn't it I Will Survive? I was like, no, 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 don't sing no gospel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she did I Will Survive. Yeah, she did oh, I Will Survive.